good night and welcome back to another video so today I'm going to show you how to make the Christmas tree now we're going to need a few things first before we go ahead and make the Christmas tree we are going to need our scissors um, a pencil obviously uh, we're going to need our ruler not really necessary but what is necessary is our compass and you can choose whether or not you want to have an eraser but this is what we need for this video oh and one last thing that I'm forgetting you're going to need your cardboard now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle now you can get your circle uh, get a really big circle as big as you can possibly get if you want a big Christmas tree but just make sure that the circle can be drawn on the paper so yes this can fit on our paper so we draw it on and uh, now we're going to cut it out and our last video was on how to make our little Christmas house that we still have right here that is green um, let me know what your favorite color is my favorite color isn't green actually it is I'd say pink purple blue or white oh I also like black too you know what maybe in our next video we can make a black house let me know if you guys would like that along with a black Christmas tree. Oh, we're also going to be showing you how to make the star to go on top of your Christmas tree. Now we have our circle cut out here. Next thing that you are going to need, but you don't need it right away, are papers. You need these green papers. Now you can paint the paper green yourself or you can buy green paper. Now you need those paper thinner than what this cardboard is. You fold the cardboard in half and then you cut it because you only need half of the circle. So we can say we can get two Christmas trees out of this one. Oh, you need your glue and you need your tape as well so you take a Christmas tree you fold it like this and then you this part gets a little bit hard to do you fold it in like this so let's do that again because we're going to need to apply paste on both sides you apply some paste here and you apply some paste here and you just you fold it in Make sure you get a point here and uh, oh i'm very sorry if you can hear my video especially since i am talking a lot and you hold it there you take your tape you pull your tape out and you paste this down oh bye we okay so we're going to need to cut our tape off first before we can do so this is going to be a bit more complicated than i expect it to be so we have our tape and we put it on like this Now this is the first half of our Christmas tree. Now I'm going to show you how to do the second half. Which is where we cut the paper up into strips like this. So you fold your paper. Then you cut it out. Remember if you're a child and you don't really know how to handle the scissors, please ask an adult for help, ask your parents, ask your guardian, just ask an adult for help, don't try to do this on your own, it is always okay to ask for help. Now that we're finished cutting it down like this, we fold it again, cut again, and then we fold again. And we cut again so that we can have our papers in strips sorry if you're hearing the dog barking now um, why don't we cut all our paper up in strips you can have like three or four of the green paper I'm not sure how much exactly will be needed we're going to see as we go along with this video
couldn't tell you guys how to do this one so you have your strip of paper here you fold it in half then into quarters and you cut it up now if you've watched my video on how to make a sunflower we do something similar in that video and you just you make sure you don't cut all the way through you don't want that so you just cut a little bit and you open it up and you see places like this where it's a bit more thicker there you just cut it out well you don't cut it out you just cut straight through it or like here you can see that it's not like the others and you just cut it here now uh, pay close attention to this part you take your scissors if you have bigger scissors that would be preferable and you just pull it like this like what you would usually do on a ribbon when you're wrapping gifts and you do it for all giving these a little bit of a curve I'm going to show you how to paste them on so let's put this over to the corner and we get our glue and uh, what I want you to do is to rub the glue on this side where it carries the bumper rub it throughout this part you can take your finger and just make sure that you spread the glue throughout and then I'll just make your finger stick or sticky and you put your cone down you can call it cone and you just let the we can call them leafy parts stick out and you wrap it around now when it comes to this part i want you to raise this up just a little bit and continue wrapping and just continue wrapping right away wrong and there now we need to get our next paper and Put this right through and you continue wrap with it now you don't need to wrap the paste because that would just make your hand sticky and fizzy as for the bumps that you're going to see that's going to raise up when you put the next layer over it it will go down but be very careful as you're putting the next layer over it because you don't want this one to lose out as you can see that just happens here so when that happens you take off the one if you could and just like try raising this up just a little bit to slip this one back under it To be honest, when you're finished putting on all, you won't see any of the mistakes that you make. So let's get this one done.
here is your tree along with your cute little house. Let's hold the tree up and examine it a bit more. Now you can choose to decorate it and we can do so with our fabric paint. Now we have our fabric paint here and there's also another option that you can use if you want fake snow on the tree instead of decorating it then you can get styrofoam. Sorry I just realized you can't see the fake snow. You get styrofoam and you crumble it up and that can be used as fake snow if you can't really go out and buy. Now you don't need a lot for this. You can take a little container and you can pour some of this styrofoam inside. Just get a good amount inside. And you can pour your paste inside of it. Make sure you have enough paste so it can be very sticky and you won't have to worry about it coming apart later. You need some water in this. Well, you know, I have a spray bottle of water. Make sure you spray enough too. You can get a pink brush and you just try your very best to sort of mix this up and make sure you mix it up really good. Now I have the glow in the dark paint, which I definitely would need to buy some more of. I just need to find it. I'm pretty sure if I turn off the light, I'll have a better chance at finding it. But you know, I'm not turning off the light because then you're not going to see what I'm doing and I can't seem to find it. Like, did I lose the only glow in the dark paint that I have? Nope, it's right here. So we can mix in some of this for a little bit of a glowing effect on our Christmas tree. And we can even put some of the fake snow on the house. So it needs a little bit more paste and some more water added to it. And um, let's just mix this up. So what you can remember is that I am on Instagram as Mistrivart, along with Twitter as Mistrivart, just like the name of the YouTube channel, which is Mistrivart. And so you just mix this up. Make sure you can go check me out on Instagram, even though I haven't posted anything there in a while. You can get to see some of my old posts. Now, uh, the reason why I haven't posted there in a while, I bought the tablet thinking that um, I was going to use the tablet strictly for posting, but eventually I don't. I tried posting a few things from it, but I noticed that it wasn't uploading, so... I don't use the tablet that often anymore. And um, now we have our fake snow. So you just carefully apply this on. And um, you carefully apply it on because it's obviously it's not going to stick right away. If you have a glue gun, you can try applying it with a glue gun. I'm not sure how that will work out, but maybe you can take your chances there because that would dry much, much faster than what this can dry. Um, I have a glue gun, but I don't have glue for the glue gun. So, there's that. Uh, something that I'm going to have to do is, since I've got the tablet, I've got more space, I can download something under that could help me create, uh, what do you call this, to create the thumbnail for my YouTube channel. Uh, that looks very pretty. The snow does look extremely pretty. I like it. Like, I really hope you guys like it too. Remember, take your time and put it on. You don't need to rush this part. There are other ways you can make Christmas trees. And we are also going to go through that. Not to mention we're going to go through Christmas, car Christmas cards. And I know Christmas is about 8 to 9 days away. So like, if you didn't get to get a gift for someone, these can be perfect little gifts that you can make and give it to someone. Now, for me, I would prefer a Christmas card because it shows that you took time and effort to make said Christmas cards. Now, um, I'm okay with this amount of snow. You can choose to cover your tree with snow. Oh, but we have so much, but we can apply it to the house too. We can take some snow and apply it here on the house. There. So, you know, it's not just the tree alone that has snow on it. Our house also has a little bit of snow. Like I said, it's um, some of the glow-in-the-dark paint that I mixed in. Uh, you don't need to mix in some of that. I just do it because when I turn off the light, it looks very pretty. Obviously, it's going to dark paint. It's going to look pretty. And that is all for this video. I would just like to say thank you very much for watching. And I hope you guys subscribe for more amazing content if you find this content amazing. And the next thing that you can do is turn on notifications so you can get notified when I post new videos, which is um, not that often, actually. I don't post videos very often, so you don't need to have to worry about, oh, you're going to get a video every day from me that you need to watch. No, I don't post videos very often, but I will be during this Christmas season because there's just so much video to cover with so little time. 
we have to go over the Christmas wreath. I need to buy a staple for that, I'm all out of staple. And we need to go over some more things. Now that is seriously all for this video, you don't need to apply a lot of snow to it. Our next video I will be showing you how to make our Christmas star. And since it's a very easy thing to do, I will also show you how to make the bow. Anyway, that is all for this video, goodbye, take care, see you again next video.